I'm Corinne Gore here with Poppy Jones, and we're at the Center for Earth Ethics at Union Theological Seminary. We have uh, come into the forest as a classroom. We're in Van Cortlandt Park, which is in the Bronx, right here in New York City. For them to actually get out in nature and have ceremony by fire and talk and just be part of creation was a profound experience for them. The forests are, it's like, a classroom and a church and everything combined. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to focus their minds on the medicine, but they want to hear about how the heart opens up. They really want to be more spiritually advanced. They want to be more, more spiritually open. The knowledge that you share is so valuable to these seminary students, and it's not so much about the names of the trees and the plants, but it's more the relationship that you have with them. Mm -hmm. My father's native. Of, of this region. The stories of my grandfather and my great-grandmother, she was head medicine woman of the Narragansett Nation in Rhode Island, what they call Rhode Island, now affected me growing up. In the forest, I was never alone. All of the world's faith and religious traditions and spiritual traditions have a teaching of the interconnectedness and the, the sacredness or the sanctity of, of creation. And then to be able to experience that directly yourself, as opposed to just reading about it in a book, makes the teaching more powerful. Nature is so healing because it's so much love there. Whether you call it God or Creator or whatever name, the universe, there's something you can feel of that life force when you're in the woods. We're all here on equal terms and we share with each other. So once people start looking at the forest as materials that they can just bombard and use and start looking at this as this is a life. There's so much available in the forest, whether you look at it as medicine, um, seeing relations in other life forms, or you look at it as revelation. Everything is interrelated and balanced in a way right now that involves the forest, and we, we, we cannot cut them down without that changing. Without these forests, we die. Without these leaves on these trees around me, we die because we eat. We don't eat rocks. We breathe. We breathe. We need oxygen. We need food. We need water. We need to protect the forests for our health, for our survival as a species, really, ultimately, is what it's about, uh, but also for our own integrity and well-being.